On the final day of the retreat in Aivasha, Nakuru County, the Parliamentary Finance Committee members unanimously agreed to a report set to be tabled in Parliament tomorrow. Trusted yeah. sources in our news desk have disclosed that the committee has resolved that the 3% housing levy be reduced to 1.5% and it should only affect employees. The housing levy, however, will only be effective from January 2024 as the legal framework is being worked on. It also repealed the 20% mandatory deposit to KRA for tax appeal, even as 20% VAT on betting and gaming has been reduced to 12.5%, which initially was 7.5%, meaning it's up by 5%. The 15% digital tax for content creator, which President William Ruto directed to be set aside, has however been reduced to 5%. VAT on petroleum products will remain at 8% and not the proposed 16%, as the payment of withholding tax within 24 hours has been repealed. The committee has also agreed to zero rating on manufacturing of medicinal products and fertilizer and replace it with the exemption of medicinal products and fertilizer. Finally, an increase of the rental income tax from the current 7.5% to 10%. Yeah. People now, imagine it's now, it's just... According to the committee chairperson, Kuria Kimani, the report which will be tabled on the floor tomorrow will be debated on Wednesday and it's voting done on Friday when a special sitting will be called. I know members allow me to acknowledge. The budget reading happening on Thursday will still go on despite the voting of the finance bill coming a day after, with the law requiring its tabling first. The process. Joel Jacha, K24 TV, Nairobi.